welcome to autotalkvideo.com. My name's Kesley and I'm actually here in the Auto Talk studio right now. But let's go check in with Car Bob and see what he has in store for us today. Hi, my name's Car Bob and I want to welcome you to this week's episode of New Car Test Reviews. This week we're going to spend some time with one of the finest SUVs ever, the new 2011 Dodge Durango. Wow, what a car. This award-winning Dodge, without a doubt, is probably the finest SUV large size that I've ever driven. It is just an outstanding vehicle. You know, all the people at Dodge have just been working their old tails off the last couple of years to kind of remerge that company into being one of the major leaders of the auto industry. And let me tell you, they have done a job. Everything they presented for the lineup in 2011, just outstanding. They've really done their homework and they've put every little initiative, they've worked on every inch and every nick and cranny of every vehicle to make them the best that anybody has. So, hey, Great job, Chrysler, and Dodge, and Jeep, and everybody involved, and even Fiat. So, let's get back to this Durango. I was fortunate, the one that I was driving had that nice uh, six Hemi engine in it with all-wheel drive. It was actually the crew. They have four different uh, models of the, the all-new Durango. I kind of like the one I had. Let's, uh, as we look at the outside of it, you know, taking one look at the front of the Durango, you gotta love the design. The grill says Dodge all over it, but it's all new and it's gorgeous and the lights blend in and the lines down the side, they're just fantastic. The ruggedness that it portrays along with just being simply gorgeous. You know, those lines that that Dodge have just shout out, get out of my way, I'm coming through. Walk on around and you'll see the rest of it. We'll do that in a few minutes. We'll do a walk around. But first I want to tell you a little bit about some of the fun things about this car. First of all, it drives like nobody's business. Just fantastic drive. And the ride is so comfortable. The inside is very luxurious, you can see. Love their entertainment program. Not only do they have this good DV system and fabulous sound system, you can get satellite TV on the Durango. So if you've got a bunch of kids you're going to put in the back, big or little, besides just having a great DVD player, how about some cartoons on satellite TV? Not every car has satellite TV. So, you know, they've taken care of everything. One of the things, and you'll see it in the walk around, I love the access to the third row. Nobody has as much room and as ease as getting into the third row. Makes it awful good. So, let's look at this. It rides good. It handles good. Acceleration is fabulous. Of course, it's got a little heavy engine. The braking is fine. Noise level? Nah, none. Visibility? Super. You can see everywhere. They could use this. Hey, hunting down a deer, you can see it. If it's miles away, the windows are so great. But one of the things that I like the best about this car is that the middle of the dash, as you look at it, that big screen that they use for the nav system. You can, can use it for all the controls for the radio and heaters and air conditionings, both front and rear separate air conditioning units and heating units. And also, when you're backing up the color image on that screen in the backup cameras, you talk about safety. This, this car has it all. So, not only is it easy to get in and out of, it is easy to drive. Like I said, you can see good, and it's a comfortable ride, and it's pretty affordable. 
So, before we take a walk around, as uh, they say quite often, and you've heard it before, I got to take a break and pay the rent. So, be patient, and we'll be right back. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye now. I'm Car Bob, and thank you for joining me here at my breakfast table. I want to share a little bit of wisdom with you. Many years ago, my mother said to me many, many times, the most important meal of the day is breakfast. So I've tried for years to maintain a good, healthy breakfast, and today I'm having one of my favorite meals that I have quite often, and that is some kind of oat cereal. I like especially the oats that come in these little rolled wheels. Of course, I like anything with wheels. So, I want to uh, get started. And uh, we're going to have some a bowl of the oats. And what goes off and so good with it, I have some fresh cut up strawberries and adding the strawberries, I don't have to add any extra sugar, which if I don't have any fruit, sometimes I have to. And then a little bit of milk, as you can see, 2% milk. And oh, it's already looking good. So, of course, I got a cup of coffee. And the cereal brand today that I'm using, well, it's Durango's. Or as you can see on this side, there's the Durango. I've been uh, eating Durango's for years and years. And I want to tell you, it gives me all the vitamins I need all the nutrition that I need, and all the strength for the whole day. It is called the Champion of Auto Riders Breakfast Cereal. So, you know, if you haven't tried Durango's, may I suggest you stop at your dealer today and tell them Car Bob sent you and pick up a box of Durango's, and you will truly end up being a champion of champions. So... Bye now. See you later. Oh, Bridgie's here wants a little bit of breakfast too. Over here, Bridgie. I'm going to eat this one. Mmm. It's so good. Well, the time we walk around, take a look at the outside of this 2011 Durango all-wheel drive crew. Got to be one of the sharpest, with one of the nicest stances of any SUV available today. From the first time I drove this many years ago, I'm going to tell you, this car has advanced to a degree where if you can find something to complain about this SUV, then you must not be looking at the same car that I am. This car has some of the best lines, some of the best room, terrific performance, drives like a top. The lines down the side of this just absolutely are stunning. I love the wheels. Let's look all let's walk all the rest of the way around, taking a good look at the rear end. You can tell when you get behind this that it doesn't look like any other SUV out there today. It's, it's very, very rugged looking. Plus, it's stylish. It has a lot of appeal. I'm extremely pleased with the way this car handles, drives, rides. The power that it has, the room that it has. As you can see, 
it's just absolutely stunning. We went all the way around it. We'll go over and take a closer look inside here in a second. Let's walk on around the front again. This distinctively Dodge grill, even though it's new and modern, you can still see the Dodge part of it from its heritage. The, the wrap around headlights, they're nothing but super looking. I guess you might say that I like the looks of this vehicle. It's certainly for the family that needs an SUV with lots of room. This is the one that takes the kit first and look inside. As you can see, there's just a ton of leg room in between. Oh, and there's lots of room for Bridget to ride along. As you can see, we'll skip over to the third row seats. A click of one handle, it's down. And that easy to maneuver to get in the rear seats. All three seats are very usable. I believe the measurements on this, it has as much room in the, the third row seats as that any vehicle out there, or I should say more room, more leg room. Of course, the headroom is, is terrific. And we're going to skip over and take a look at the dash. As you can see, it's just absolutely stunning view. Bridget likes the looks of the dash too, which we kind of gather around. Now let's go back and look at the rear. One little touch of the back handle and up comes the lid and we can look in here and see that there's plenty of storage room while the seats are up and with the flip of this handle the whole third row folds down and now you can see we've got enough room to carry just about anything you can think of it's a long way up there to the front but you still got room for four or five people room to haul anything you want to haul on a long trip to make this car as easy to get around and take everything everybody with you there's no other suv today that's as appealing to me as this durango is for 2011 dodge has done a job we go to put the tailgate down one push of the button back off and you can hear the beeper so that it doesn't hit you in the head which if it does it'll stop but then it locked up on its own. So let's go on up here again. Let's open the front door. Take a look inside. As you can see, there's just, let's go starting back here, all the way up. It's got more opening than anybody would ever need. And of course the dash is just gorgeous. And as we walk by, as you can see my friend Bridget, she loves to ride in this Durango. And I don't mind having her along. From all of us here at Auto Talk, we'd like to thank you for watching today's episodes. See you next time.